Hi Thrive community, it is Dr. Brianna Tyvee with this week's installation of our Nutrition Talks. And this week we are gonna be talking about sugar. And um, I already tried to film this once and was too long-winded, so we're gonna try to be concise here. Um, I wanna start by talking about the ways in which sugar affects our health. Uh, first and fo foremost, it can have a great effect on weight gain and obesity because when we're eating too much sugar, we get spikes and drops in our blood sugar and it just makes us crave more sugar and your body only knows to burn through that source of energy rather than tapping into its own sources of energy like your own fat. Secondly, um, that weight gain and obesity can lead to an increased risk factor for diabetes. So diabetes results when your body no longer knows how to manage those spikes and drops in blood sugar on its own. And so obviously if you're getting um, several of those spikes and drops and you are carrying an excessive amount of weight, uh, diabetes becomes a really big um, risk factor for you. Third, it has a huge impact on inflammation and inflammation obviously can make us uncomfortable in things like our joints, but all of the tissues in your body are affected by inflammation. So this can also lead to everything from heart disease to acne. And now these three things in combination, weight gain, diabetes, and inflammation, all increase your risk factors for cancer. So all of these sort of subcategories of risk can lead to much bigger risk like cancer. And then also in regards to mental health and the brain, um, increased spikes and drops in sugar have been linked to increased levels of depression as well. So um, actually your diet can have a huge effect on your brain chemistry and your risk factor for depression. And um, the last thing I wanna mention on that is that more and more studies are coming out that are linking um, excess sugar consumption to increased risk for things like dementia and Alzheimer's. So certainly something that we want to um, keep our eyes on. So um, the first piece of advice that I would give you in regards to um, trying to cut down your consumption of sugar is to start paying attention to your labels. So simply look at your ingredient list when you're at the grocery store now and start to um, just realize what's actually in what you're buying because sugar is hidden all over the place. And just remember that quantities um, are listed in order of um, like how, how much is in that uh, particular product. So if sugar is number one, two, or three on the list, you're just getting a ton of added sugar in whatever it is you're buying. Um, to that point, you wanna try to focus on eating, eating whole foods. So foods that are found in nature, um, you know, produce, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, uh, lean meats and proteins and some limited grains. Um, and also to that point, um, when we're wanting to get something sweet or that sugar, um, try to find it from natural sources. So things like um, fruit is a great way to get uh, that sweet factor um, satisfied. And also nut butters can be a really great way to incorporate that as well. And the last thing that I'll mention on that is um, if you are a person who consumes soda, probably one of the single biggest impacts that you can have on your overall health is to reduce or eliminate your consumption of soda. And we'll probably do a whole series on that at some point because that's a really, really big one. But um, for today, what I'd love for you to take away is to understand that all that sugar that goes into your body, all that excess sugar and added sugar is actually having a huge impact on your health and to just simply start paying attention and start um, observing what it is you're eating and seeing where those hidden sugars are so that you can start making choices that will have a huge impact on your health. I hope this helps. We'll be back next week. Be well.